All right. You know how we always say as artifact collectors and, uh, you know, we're looking to seek and save, but uh, we always say it's never over till you leave the dirt. So right around here is the garden. I'm still pretty much on the garden, so I don't give it up. It's never over till you leave the dirt. I've got two pocketfuls more of pottery. I can't leave when I find such exceptional pottery. And uh, I want to show you it. See this pile down here? Pottery. We've got real washout going on. Two inches of rain right on the outskirts, but it's never over till you leave the dirt. And there's a point here up ahead that looks really, really great. We're going to check it out. Check this out. never over till you leave the dirt we're gonna check that out in the washout see we're walking over the top of artifacts all the time like these look at this pottery how oh, I know this is a sight. the garden is not close to being done with sharing some awesome stuff of course I pulled this nice point it's never over till you leave the dirt let me see this So, nice point right here. And then, look at if you can. I don't know if you can see. This is going to clean up nice. It's got some really great pattern in it. Thick piece of pottery. Can't see it too well. I can see it with my naked eye. Look at the pattern in this. And look at all the differences. Love to highlight the differences. Because what you're seeing in the different textures of this pottery is you're seeing dispensations of time not just personality differences for somebody who's living on a site. Look at the difference in this pottery. Because, you know, if my buddy was making pottery or, you know, if you're a gal, if, if I was a girl and my girlfriend was making pottery, well, if she had a good method, I'd use it. And the whole village would start to get to use it and be a good method and it'd just be something that was really productive. So what we're doing, I think, and most people who study pottery agree, is we're looking through eons of time, hundred year periods, even thousand year periods. But most of the time with the pottery, uh, it's hundred year periods. I mean, look at this stuff. Now, let's go check that point out. My marker here, I'll get rid of it. And let's just hope this goes for a, a final chapter for today on Indian Trace. I mean, look at this. You can't uh, get better than that in the wash. I mean, it's about, it was covered because this was all buried. So let's see if I can get a good view of this as we check it out. It's never over till you leave the dirt. close to a G10, as close as you get to a G10. Great point. Right out of the dirt, right there. Appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace. Hope you find out there.